Welcome as the jazz image continues. Here we are in pursuit of uh, a timber wolf howling across Miller's Bay, Leech Lake. And we're headed to Star Route, Walker, Minnesota, zip code 56484. And on and beyond to uh, Keweenaw Bay, Lake Medora, Houghton and Hancock, Chassel, points north, south, east, and west. Stay tuned here, the jazz image recording the life and times of the musicians who make jazz a lively American art form. Studio production, Sean Daly. Editing, Barry Gordimer. Research, Ray Martin. This is Lake Hammond in uh, Winter Disguise. In our department of discovery and rediscovery, for some of you it's rediscovery and some of you uh, it's pure discovery, here's a voice of quality with a great standard for delivering messages and music. <laughs> your face before where did your eyes meet mine was it in time or space before or on some valentine where did we greet the dawn before once when the world was fair was it in Glockamara or perhaps in Berkeley Square? Maybe in a thousand years someday in some garden I will look at you this way and say beg your pardon Where have I seen your face before Lighting my way to grace How did I face the world before Before I saw your face
That song is only six years old. It was written in 1980, the last team writing of lyricist E.Y. Harburg. The music is Burton Lane. The narrator, the storyteller, the messenger is Maxine Sullivan. It was recorded last summer at Delta Recording Studios in New York. Where Have I Seen Your Face Before is the title. And here's another musical creation by Burton Lane, this time with a lyric by Frank Lesser, and it's a lot older. It's uh, a theme from the musical Dancing on a Dime. Any of you see that film? I don't remember it. Vintage 41, 1841, 1941. <laughs> Not that I am a punchinello, just an optimistic fellow with a lot of very mellow music in my soul. Not that I am a Pollyanna shouting out a loud Hosanna, it's my singing heart I can't control. The murmur of a morning breeze up there The rattle of the milkman on the stair Sure, that's music Mighty fine music The singing of the sparrow in the sky The working of the coffee right nearby There's my favorite melody Anytime I think my world is wrong I get me out of bed and sing this song Maxine Sullivan, who years ago was a part of the John Kirby Band. And that was uh, pre-World War II. And today, as of last year, this voice, marking time, with the collections of songs created by Burton Lane, with various lyricists, and here team worker is Frank Lesser. I Hear Music, 1941, from the musical Dancing on a Dime. The collection is all put together on a label called Stash, and it has been released in the last six months, and it's available for those of you who like uh, messages and music with jazz orientation. Arrangements here credit to Keith Ingham, pianist and leader. Glenn Zatola has also featured on trumpet with Phil Bodner, doubling alto and clarinet. The guitarist is Marty Gross, who has played... Some memorable stints with the Hall Brothers in Mendota, Minnesota. Phil Flanagan bass, Jackie Williams drums. And occasionally, Bobby Rosengarden sets in, or sits in, if you please. The jazz image and discovery, or whatever you want to call it, limelight for the undiscovered. 
A note from one of our listeners, one of our most uh, faithful correspondents, comment concerning Woody Herman's 50th year and programming of last week. To quote, Woody Herman's band strutted their stuff with Things Ain't What They Used To Be, John Brown's Other Body, and the writer says and asks, does the title refer to the other body of music resulting from innovations on the original theme, or is John Brown's other body the one that once belonged to the songwriter who wrote, I ain't got no body? No body. Get it? On second thought, better file that away under the worst joke of the week and forget it. We quote and leave it with you from our correspondent in Minneapolis, zip code 55407, as I stutter through that worst joke of the week. It's a nice play on words. Have confidence. Write with humor. More of it. All hail, good listeners, want you to know that the Woody Herman Big Band is sailing in from Tokyo and Yokohama Stadium and various points overseas. We are celebrating, as of this moment, on 50th anniversary tour of Woody Herman and his young thundering herd. Here's a group of old and young herd members. The younger uh, herdsmen are... Uh, Stellar people like Gene Smith and George Rabbi and Bill Byrne and Scott Wagstraff. The veteran herdsmen are Al Cohn, Sal Nistico, and Flip Phillips with Med Flory. And you're going to hear them all in this uh, stunning set from Japan. Let's go overseas for Woody and his big band.
great old tune that was first done by Louis Armstrong and the late Jack Teagarden. Here is Old Rockin' Chair. One, two, three. Rockin' chairs got me, son. Oh, rockin' chair got you, fine. Ain't by my side. Got your kid by your side. Fetch me my gin, son. Ain't got no more gin pop. Before I tan your hide, gonna tan my hide. I can't get from this cabin to bop, 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 ooh. Ain't gone nowhere Ain't gone nowhere And I'm just sitting here Grabbing What you grabbing? Grabbing at the flies round my rocking chair zap, 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 zap. My dear old Aunt Harriet Good old Aunt Harriet, I remember Up in heaven she be Up in heaven she be Sent me Sweet chariot Sweet, clap, clap, sweet chariot So the end of my troubles I see Don't worry about a thing, Pop, you're gonna be all right Oh, rockin' chair's got me some You said the rockin' chair got you pop Judgment day is there Got the judgment day coming around And I'm chained to my old rockin' chair
Mr. Flip Phillips' composition, The Claw. <laughs> Keep 
your arms around me like there's no tomorrow. Let me know you. Teach me how to please you. Lay your dreams beside me. Only stars will listen to our cries and whispers. You were made to love me. They call her sassy, and that was Sarah Vaughan, and a piece of material not too familiar. The Island is the title. Her colleagues on this date handpicked. She selected each and every musician to perform with her. Joe Pass, the guitarist, Harold Jones, the drummer, Andy Simpkins, bass, the pianist and accompanist and central leader of the group, Roland Hanna, with Sarah Vaughan, producing, directing, and fusing all of this material. The cream, an institution in the business, and the art of singing, Sarah Vaughan.
if you please, that uh, tour of the seasons and the imagery transferred and transmitted by Sarah Vaughan. Sassy. The song is called Seasons, a rare one, with her uh, team here, Joe Pass guitar, Harold Jones drums, Andy Simpkins bass, Roland Hanna piano, and the floating sound of Sarah Vaughan. Women in Jazz, another chapter on the jazz image a continuing, uh, revolving chapter. Introducing, if you've not met her before, Mary Fettig, who is a specialist in the woodwinds, alto saxophone and flute. She, by the way, has appeared and worked with Woody Herman, as well as such uh, diversity as Tito Puente and Brian Torf and Hank Jones, Jay Canna, Marion McPartland. Mary Fettig here in good company with Marion McPartland. The bassist is Ray Brown, Jeff Hamilton, Peter Sprague, and we invite you to listen to this recreation and uh, interpretation of what uh, Paquita de Rivera said earlier of Charlie Parker. He was the monster. Well, the monster Charlie Parker wrote this theme and saxophonists and woodwind players have been dealing with it ever since.
That Charlie Parker standard scrappled from the apple, and those, uh, what uh, Leonard Feather describes as long serpentine alto lines, her hardest driving solo in this particular set, and now to something more poetic. Claire Fisher, the arranger and composer and orchestra leader from Los Angeles, has designed this piece. It's his composition, in other words, and it has to do with these early morning hours. This is when we shrink time down to sunset, or sunrise, I should say. And as we follow the trail of the small hours, here's an anthem for morning.
Mary Fetig sort of fading away into the distance. She's a flute player of considerable skill and ability, doubling not only on alto saxophone, but on flute as well. Women artists in jazz who have quite a tie to big bands and small groups. At the age of 20, Mary Fetig played and went on tour as the first women instrumentalist with Stan Kenton's band. And Stan said, I wanted to hire Mary the minute I heard her play at one of our clinics. She is, at that time, he said, a welcome addition to the band. And she made that tour, and her reputation began to spread as one of the skilled alto saxophone and flute players coming out of the uh, college uh, set and jazz uh, ensembles. She was a part of the uh, climate in jazz studio band at uh, Los Medanos College in the Los Angeles and Concord area. Mary Fetig in good company. And here's another very new and uh, rich artist in the field, Judy Carmichael.
marking Invincible Time. That was Judy Carmichael featured at piano with Warren Vachet's cornet to a Howard Alden red calendar. Guitar, bass, respectfully and respectively. There's a new album out, and I also call it album. Judy Carmichael titled The Pearls. And this is from side two and track one, that Palmer Williams uh, special, really uh, delightful, Everybody Loves My Baby. <laughs> 